Super Socks uh, this year. It is going to be our third year in Super uh, in Selvages. This year I've actually had not a lot to do with it. So, uh, it's putting it all in the hands of Max, who's doing a very good job so far. So we launched in Selvages two years ago now, which was uh, our first kind of pop-up retail activation. Uh, never ever done something like uh, that before. It's all been online. But the first year went really, really well. We launched in Arnott's in Dublin and Selfridges London and Birmingham. That went really well. The following year, they asked us back, which was great. Uh, slightly different because of COVID. So we sort of had to adapt what we were doing. We did a bit more of a sort of uh, click and collect. We did delivery, uh, but that was, yeah, very, very different. And then now coming into our third year, we are in the Trafford Centre, London, Birmingham and Dublin. So Max is going out to Dublin tomorrow to launch that, and then I think we're in uh, Trafford Centre on Friday. And the following week is London and Birmingham. So we're just prepping for Super Socks Live to launch Christmas time. Um, third year running now. As you can see, we've just um, we've been in store. Um, this one's uh, Dublin in Arnott. Specked everything out. Brought the CADs to life, and we're just discussing graphics now. So uh, we've got London on the screen there as well. Um, as you can see, so initial concepts of the drawing, so sort of space and then also what it's going to look like. And then we're passing it over to Luke to work his magic on the stand design and graphics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say about it, Luke? <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to design it. Yeah. All good? <laughs> I'll make it look pretty. Yeah, yeah it's my job. Make it pop. Yeah. So one of the themes um, for Arnott's is uh, Circus, so Luke's gonna be uh, doing something along the lines of the circus thing. Exciting, so also got dressed up as a clown. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get really sort of creative with the designs, but actually they wanted something very traditional and shiny. So it kind of it's got a kind of Home Alone, FEO Schwartz toy toy shop uh, like feel, which is kind of cool. Uh, and something a bit different to the red and white that we that uh, are our official brand guidelines. Um, so that's nice to see. So yeah, Max has been busy wrapping away uh, with Steve, uh, just getting all the stands cleaned up. Uh, that takes an awful lot of time, just installing the LEDs, the wrap, uh, and just making it look uh, as beautiful as ever. Because it's a gold, it's like a gold mirrored wrap. Real gold? Real gold, yeah. Painted in real gold. Did you actually get it for all the Yes, the world's most expensive stand in Selfridges. That's what we were aiming for. Where does gold get made? Where does gold get made? It's just, it's just ink, it's just uh, basically it's the material. The real gold, you know where actually material. Oh, it's like thousands. It's not. where does it get made? Do you what, know what the fake gold? No, the real gold. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Dubai, no. Dubai. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's like um, you know Luke, a lot about gold. Luke, where does gold from? <laughs> you going to teeth. Dubai. Max is uh, over at uh, a rented unit that we had to rent because we had so many stands come back from last year. Uh, three or four stands that take up so much space. We actually had to hire a storage unit for them, so we had to go and pick all them up. And the guys have been busy wrapping the stands to meet the Selfridges uh, brand requirements. Uh, we had a little back and forth from the design on those uh, to get that all correct and uh, so that they were happy with it. Uh, so this year we've gone for kind of a gold tinted feel. Uh, you keep going. There's mother. There's mother. What have you got to say, mum? <laughs> um, that was all flowing as well then. Um, Talk to me, Matt. What we got? The first ever Super Socks jigs. Charlie will be able to give you more insight. Matt's just near at this point. These were the first, first jig style we ever used. So, as you can imagine, printing hundreds of orders when we first started. Now we print six pairs every press. Whereas when we first started, we were printing four pairs. That's how it all began. First pressing on these little bad boys. What were the first socks you were doing? Back in Kenilworth. Probably dog and face socks. Still the most popular today. But yeah, we used to churn out. Churn out how many, what, four pairs we do. Every press we do now, we do an extra two pairs. So, I don't know, that's four pairs. Extra four pairs every two minutes. An eight hour day. I don't know what my maths isn't that good at all. I was like, can't collect it. That's Christmas. Someone was packing socks and they were going to number <laughs> and Downing Street. 
Uh, well, people can send him stuff, but apparently all his posts goes to number 11. So, and they had Boris Johnson's dog on from his wife, who is... That was probably the most, that was the funniest pair of socks because he was actually going to Downing Street. I'm sure he loved them. There we are, launching 16th of November, 21st, 18th, 23rd. You heard it here first. You got anything Dubai to say, Luke? Next up, Dubai. The gold guru. <laughs> Next up, Dubai. <laughs> Max has been kind of doing everything to do with Super Socks Live this year. Uh, as I've just been kind of busy sorting everything out of the warehouse, but yeah, exciting. It's always good seeing actual input, you know, customers in person receiving socks and things like that. Because what we do online, you know, we actually don't see a lot of the reactions half the time, so it's actually nice seeing customers and uh, yeah, getting their reactions, which is good. Fresh, we got the new super socks, socks here. First look. Have a look, exclusive so we, access. We ordered these about four or five weeks ago, so arrived pretty quickly. Um, but we made some modifications to the socks, um, made them slightly comfier, and then also we have super socks inside. Look at that. So nice little added feature on uh, feature on the socks. So. Um, yeah, two hours away from heading off to Dublin uh, for the launch there, which is exciting. Pretty stressful, but we move, James, we move. Uh, just doing kind of the last um, check-in whether I've forgotten anything um, to make sure, you know, uh, there's no embarrassing moments when we get there tonight, but hopefully launching tomorrow, we'll get some videos, um, we'll show you in the store uh, and show you what it's all about in Ireland. Suitcase full of socks. Suitcase full of socks, that's it. You can see it in the, the sun with Eddie Van. So the pickup uh, hasn't gone the most smooth. Uh, the guy came last week to pick up the stand and he was having a bit of a hissy fit about uh, the weight of the van, saying how much it weighed. Uh, given we had a bunch of stands and we had all the paper and all the socks that we were picking up, he was uh, kicking off saying that if his van was too heavy that the police would stop him. Didn't know that was a thing, but might be a thing. I'm sure if it is a thing, but uh, anyway, yeah, he didn't want to take any more because he said it was too heavy and that he might have to drive up to Scotland to then go across to come down to Dublin. I didn't get the full thing, but Max had a uh, about a 20 minute argument with him. Eventually, we got all the stuff on the van. He texted Max yesterday saying uh, that he sliced his hand open so that he can't deliver anything, uh, of which obviously Max's response was not a chance. It has to go in because it was going Wednesday. So there's been a bit of a back and forth, but uh, I've just had confirmation from uh, Lady Arnott's that all the standards arrived and it is going in this evening as well. So, thank you, but not thank you to any van. You actually yeah. just yeah. watched me walk up. That's going to follow you. Walk out the top. Hang on, go back, go back. I'm in the way. Go back, get Adam in. <laughs> Two words, Adam. Two words. Good <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Going without me. A bit lost. How have you got out of this one, Charlie? <laughs> Mate, I'm feeling with this, you know. <laughs> yeah, doing it, doing it solo tonight. Charlie's not there with me, but. First, is it first time? Hope the Uber driver's calling. There's like a pasta baby over, and I'm gonna miss it all. <laughs> How sad. You're gonna cry when you It's not that sad. He's not gonna get to bed till five o'clock, and he's installing a stand. So. Thank you. I'll do the fun stuff, we'll go, we'll go. Cheers. You what, yeah. You'll, you'll just rock up when it's all done and sorted. See you later. See you later, good luck. Hope well. Another year, another install. When do you think we'll see him again? <laughs> Thursday. Favourite fruit, Charlie? No, as you can tell by the apples, they all that's in the basket, not the apples. Surely, no, surely, no, it's banana. Surely it's a banana. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, that's oh, a trick there. I didn't say Jeez. that, you have to cut that. Cut tripped that. him up, tripped <laughs> him up. <laughs> actually, it's actually, yeah, it should actually be not illegal, but it should be banned from eating any other fruit in here than a banana. That's why I bring my bananas in. I only, I only bring bananas in. Keep to the, keep to, to, to impress, the, to impress. Yeah, to say that I'm, 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 I'